Hi, this is Peter Salas giving you a little tour of a new feature of BlogBridge that I've written quite a bit about, and that's reading list publishing, the ability to create reading lists from within BlogBridge. So let me quickly give you an idea of how easy this is. You're looking here at a standard BlogBridge window, as I'm sure you're familiar with. You notice that I click through the different guides. I have the different collections of feeds that I'm following, that I'm reading or just tracking. I have a feed here called, or a guide here called Caribbean News. And I've selected, very carefully, six feeds of interest to somebody who's interested in the Caribbean. I have something about a lawyer in Curacao. I have some travel finds. I have photos, etc. Well, I like this list. I've spent some time collecting it. I'd like to share it with some friends. I'd like to make it into a reading list. How do I do that directly from within BlogBridge? Well, it's quite easy. What I do is I just call up the properties sheet for this guide. I click on publishing. I enable publishing. It's gotten the names automatically. And I will now request that it be created. It's just one checkbox, give it a name, and I'll set. Now, of course, it has to be uploaded to the server, so I'm going to ask it to synchronize it now. And as we talk, not only is everything else in my context here being saved to the server, but this reading list is being saved to the server. And importantly, it's being saved in such a way that it has a public URL, public hyperlink, that anybody who has the link can use to access the, um, the reading list. So it's already done. And at this point, there will be a, a, a URL up on the server. Here's how I can check. I go back to my property sheet, look at publishing. I see now that it was published at 8.46 tonight. Here's the URL. I can actually click to it, click on it. I can copy it and go paste it in some other application which uses OPML reading lists in one way or another. It could be an editor, it could be another aggregator, it could be BlogBridge, because of course BlogBridge itself can subscribe to reading lists. And that's where it gets interesting, because if we take a look at this guide, which actually seems to have six feeds in it, one of the feeds has a little antenna on it. What does that mean? It means that this guide, which I just published as my reading list, actually incorporates somebody else's reading list. It's also subscribing at the same time. So we have the ability here to take feeds, whether they're ones that I've picked myself or others have picked, and give them a name and share them with the world. That's very powerful. It's very simple. As you saw, just one checkbox, do a sync, and you're in business. That's really all there is to it. I've written a lot of stuff on the blog about this feature. You should go take a look at it, but I think this will give you uh, a good sense of how easy it is. Just that one checkbox, and that's all it takes. Thanks a lot, and talk to you next time.